Hi all and welcome back to Next Stitch Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this very easy boot slippers. So for today's boot I'll be using this chunky yarn, also 5mm hook, you will need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, a stitch marker, three buttons, and measuring tape and we are going to start with the magic ring hold your yarn and like so wrap it around your two fingers go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook and now go back wrap it around your hook and pull through the loop you had on your hook and this is your magic ring prepared. Now chain one and this chain of one is not counting as your first stitch. Turn your ring this way so the tail is on the left and it's much easier to hide it as we go. Now we are going to place 10 single crochet inside the magic ring. So we are going to place 10 all together. For wider feet 11 to 12 single crochet, for men sizes 12 to 13 single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, bring it up, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. And this is your very first stitch. Now place your stitch marker so you know this is your start. And we need 10 all together. So again, place single crochet. So this is first one. So two, oopsie daisy. Three, four. Close your ring a little bit so it's much easier to work. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight nine and ten and we are not going to slip stitch close your ring completely like this and we are going to work into this very first stitch where is our stitch marker for the round two and we are going to place two single crochet in every stitch around so this round will be our increase round. So take your stitch marker out and place two single crochet into this very first stitch. So do one single crochet and one more. But before we do so, replace your stitch marker so you know this is again the very first stitch. So we have one and two into the same stitch and continue so 3 and 4 5 6 and 19 and 20. So we should have 20 stitches in this round. Okay, so do not slip stitch. 
always count your stitches. Take your stitch marker out. And for the round three, you're only going to place one single crochet in every stitch around. So again, replace your stitch marker. This is your first stitch. And continue one stitch in every stitch around. And you should still have then these stitches. So my last one. 20 and with the stitch marker I will start a new round like this take your stitch marker out and again continue your round until you reach the front of your ankle as seen on this picture here And don't forget 20 stitches only, all the way around. Okay, so I have just finished my slipper. And in measurements, I have 17 centimeters or 7 inches. And all the way around, only 20 stitches. So we are going to stop and chain one like this turn your work and into the same stitch where is your chain of one coming from you're gonna place another single crochet and you're gonna go all the way down until you have only four stitches left and this is how we work on our Heel. Okay, so we continue all the way down until you have only four stitches unworked. So we worked into this one, we do not count the one, and then one, two, three, and four, and we do not count this one as we worked into the one as well. Okay, so four unworked stitches. In the front one don't count this one so we are going to chain one and into the same place where is your chain of one coming from you are going to place single crochet like this and you're gonna continue until oopsie daisy you get to the end of your row So all the way down. So I am here. And this is my last stitch here. Chain one and turn your work. And you will be working there and back, there and back until you get the length you need. And until you can close your slipper. So again, we're gonna walk back. Don't forget to insert your first stitch into the same place where is your chain of one coming from and work your way back. This is the picture to see and also a short video to see how to close your heel completely. So I have finished 10 rows for my size 38 to close my heel and now we are ready to sew so fold your slipper like this so the right sides are together and insert your hook into this corner here like this and pull through the loop 
like so and chain one. Now turn your slipper and find your first stitch and we're gonna sew it this way. So your stitch here and also on the opposite side. So we need to have a full stitch front loop and back loop. So two and two. Yarn over, bring it up and do single crochet. Into the next one, like this. One and another one and single crochet. All the way down your heel. So my last one here. And fasten off and do not forget to hide your end, of course. Video yarn needle somewhere here. Perfect, looks amazing. And now we'll be working around our slipper. So create a slip knot like this. Get it off your hook. Insert your hook somewhere in the middle at the back of your slipper and place your slip knot on your hook like this and chain one. And we are going to do two rounds of single crochet. So simply just place single crochet in every space you find. Also it's a good idea to place your stitch marker so you know this is your first stitch here and also hold the yarn end so you can hide it as you go so you don't need to do it later so just place single crochet in every space you find try to space it nicely like so all the way around So work like this until you get to your stitch marker. So I have my last stitch left here. And place one more. And replace your stitch marker. And do one more row of single crochet. And this is my last stitch and last row and for the right slipper we are going to continue this way like this and for the left slipper it's a little bit different so I'm going to show you later on how to work on the left slipper so now for the right slipper, work like this, simply continue, replace your stitch marker so you know where you start.
Okay, so you work until you get to the middle. And then remember, we had four stitches in the middle. So we're going to mark those four stitches first with the stitch markers. And then we're going to work until we have this middle two stitches. And that is here. So you can see we have four and middle two are meeting each other. <laughs> so I mark my four first. One, two, three, four. Like this. So continue. But you will need to get into the middle two stitches. If it makes sense, I'm going to show you in a minute how to do it, not to worry. Okay, so these are my four stitches I marked. And now I need to get to my two middle stitches, okay? So on this side, I'm going to do two more. So I replace my stitch markers. So this is how I going to work from now on until I reach those two markers okay so this will be my last stitch for this side now I'm going to chain 14 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, so this is my right slipper, and I chain fourteen, and it's gonna go around like this so this is simple for the right but for the left one it's a little bit different so i'm going to show you how to do the left one okay so for the left one once you finish your two rounds of single crochet you are going to chain one and fasten off Okay, like this. Okay, so next we're gonna turn our slipper and we're gonna start where is our marker. So it means our two middle stitches. Okay, so we're gonna create a slip knot. Take your slip knot of the hook, insert it inside that stitch, pull through. And chain 14 again. So I just, I was just annoyed <laughs> with the end. I needed to hide it straight away so it's not in the way. And now we can continue. So we need to chain all together 14. So I have one, two, three, four, five. 14 and we're gonna start into the second stitch from the hook and place single crochet in every stitch like this so this is the row one so we will continue all the way around like this the last stitch here and then go to this next one here like this so just to blend it together 
and hide your ends of course as you go okay so continue around like so until you get to the green stitch marker in the front and take your stitch marker out as you go so it's not in the way all the way around this is our left one as you can see okay continue nearly there Where is my green mark stitch marker? I will place my last stitch, chain one, and turn your work. And again, into the same place, raise your chain of one coming from you start there, and again go all the way around until you get to the end here. Okay, single crochet. like this so nearly there so I have one and very last one here chain one and turn your work like this and you can see again checking it and it goes nicely around okay so I'm going to use three buttons for these slippers. Okay, so I chained one and again into the same space where is the chain one coming from. I'm going to do two single crochet, chain one and skip one for my buttons. If you have bigger buttons, you can of course chain two and skip two but for my one one chain and skip one is just enough okay so for the bigger button chain two and skip two okay so we can continue for this round and again do single crochet in every stage all the way around so that is my gap here for the button do single crochet and finish this row until you get to that stitch marker again to the green one okay I finish chain one Turn your work and it goes higher and higher. I'm gonna do again single crochet into this very first one and around. So we are going back again. Okay, so I'm nearly at the end and that's my gap from the previous round so I'm going to place one single crochet in that space and finish with two single crochet chain one and turn the work okay 
So again, between your holes, you can have more rows. I'm going to do three rows and the fourth one will be the row where I create the hole for my button. So it's up to you. You can add more rows between the rows with the buttonhole. It's up to you. It depends how tall you want your slippers to be. Okay, so I'll have three rows and the fourth one will be always for the button where I create the buttonhole. Okay, so I'm here at the end. Again, chain one and turn your work and go back again until you get to your last stitch. Again, single crochet, going back, Okay, chain one and this is my row where I'm creating my hole for the button so I would do chain, uh, single crochet one single crochet two then I chain one and skip one okay chain one skip one and finish the row with a single crochet again So that's my first hole and the second one. And I have three rows between and the fourth one is my row for the buttonhole. They are really small but they are just perfect size for the buttons. So if you have bigger buttons, you need to create bigger holes. Okay, so I'm going to have three holes and three buttons, of course, but you can add as many as you want and go as high as you want for this slipper. So again, into the space, I've done single crochet and I will finish this row with two single crochet, chain one. For the next row again, just single crochet. So that's my second row. Then I go back and then the fourth one, I'll do the row where I create the hole for the button. Okay, just checking how does it look. Always check as you go. Check for the mistakes. And I do so many. <laughs> It's the worst when you notice them at the end. Okay, so I'm placing the buttons. So I have one and two to show you. And I need one more. Okay, so I have done three rows. This is my fourth one. I do two single crochet, chain one, skip one, and finish the row. Oopsie daisy. There it is. <laughs> really small, but you don't need really big holes. Otherwise, your buttons will always come undone. Okay, so these are my three holes. Just checking it again. And you can also finish with two rows of single crochet or three, it's up to you. So I finish with two rows of single crochet, but you can go with one higher and you can add even more buttons. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to sew the buttons. So 
do a knot so it's much more secure this way because these slippers you will keep opening them and sew the button on you can do it your way but this is my way i i like to do it this way so it's up to you again you can sew the buttons the way you like okie dokie like this from the back you can go two times or three times just make sure they're really nice and secured you can go around two times or three times again and make sure you go under the button so you don't have any knots from the inside bothering you and i go around my yarn needle three times as well and this way i will create a knot like so cut your yarn off and of course hide your ends do so on the other side and of course sew all your buttons on so this is my first one and i need two more okay you can take your stitch markers out of course hide all your ends Okay, so now when you are happy you 100% happy no mistakes you are ready to fasten off I always check for the mistakes and then I fasten off just in case okay don't forget to hide your end as well and so all your buttons on this is in a very, very high speed. But you take your time. Hide your ends. And this is it. These are our beautiful slippers. You can close them like this. You can use any buttons you like, of course. Any size as well. They are very simple, only single crochet. And one more thing I would like to tell you, please don't forget to add a non slippery treatment to your crochet slippers because crochet slippers can be very dangerous. I have created a video, so please don't forget to check that video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Unique Stitch Designs. Thank you very much for watching.